Willis, uh, how are you? Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Betty. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good evening, Willis. How has been? How Great. has your week been? <laughs> it has been fine, Betty, and I have to say, uh, you know, I'll use uh, the Kiswahili word "pole" for the technical, you know, problems that I've noticed you yeah. having in Nairobi. But it happens because machines, being what they are, mm. you can't sometimes, you know, dictate on them. That's true, Willis. Thank you very much for understanding. And our viewers have been very understanding in regards to that. All right, so we'll start with word on the street, Willis, before we get things rolling. Sisha. Sisha. Sisa. 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 Says you. Says you. Sisa. Caesar. 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 Sa izule. Sa izule. Sa izule. Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. 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 something to laugh about there someone has just cracked me up say zure you know i'm not perfect but that's yes. really really horribly wrong i believe <laughs> that is the man of tonight or the man of the night <laughs> say zure say zure say zure something close to that but yeah. he's the man of the night but when we are learning you know making a mistake yes is sometimes you know a path to, you know, knowing the correct way to say something. So, Betty, mm. a mistake is not a crime. But I believe, just um, putting that in jest, right. he is the man of the night. Man Sai of the Zure. night. <laughs> that is it. But coming right. to the pronunciation of that mm. word, Betty, we say seizure. Mm. Seizure. We have the word seize, mm -hmm. that is the verb, seize. But this one we say seizure. Seizure. Ja. So saizure and uh, any other version or any other variety can be avoided, especially in careers of serious communication. The right seizure. Seizure. And Willis, I like how you say especially and not especially. Yeah. <laughs> especially, Willis. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Betty, to there is something that you have uh, to understand a bit, uh, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, when we talk of especially, when somebody says especially, uh -huh. I talked one time about the nuances of mm -hmm. pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that sound E and E should not be a big issue. It okay. should not be a big issue. Uh -huh. You just say especially. Uh -huh. But when somebody says especially, there is nothing big about that. Okay, Willis, got it. But I love the especially more, you know, just complicating matters a little bit. I know. <laughs> Willis, <laughs> let's continue on with our list here. And next on the list, I have this word. I was about to say it, and I don't want to. W-H-I-S-T-L-E. Uh, talk to us about that. Can you try fast? <laughs> Willis. Okay, fine. Whistle. <laughs> whistle. <laughs> There you are. Yeah. You say whistle. Okay. To whistle. To whistle. To blow the whistle or the verb to whistle. All right. That T is silent. Whistle. Okay. Wrestle. Pestle. And all that, Betty. Okay. You know, when I say, can you try? Yeah. I always know that you understand that nobody, not even Willis, can be perfect. <laughs> and trying is part of, you know, the learning process. Yeah. Thank you, Willis. It's only that when I get it wrong, sometimes yes. our brothers and sisters on Twitter, they go, <laughs> they go crazy on me laughing and everything. <laughs> but it's fine. It's no, how we learn. You know, Betty, being, <laughs> being laughed at or being you know, criticized sometimes, you know, it strengthens you. Because True. in a way, it can make you to know which is which in a better way. Uh, instead of sometimes being told yes, 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 yeah. and that yes could be a big no. Okay, got it, Willis. Moving on to this other word, yes. I'll spell it. I'll, I'll spell it out too. P R E C I P I C E. Is it precipice? Precipice? How do we say that oh. word? No, we say precipice. Precipice. Wow. We don't say 
precipice. Saying precipice is like saying justice or notice <laughs> instead of notice, justice, uh, yeah. novice, hospice. You know, what confuses many people, Betty, in this case is that I-C-E, yeah. you know, in the ending of that word, mm. because many people are used to the word eyes. Yeah. So when they see I-C-E as a letter sequence in a word, you'll find somebody talking of prejudice instead of prejudice, novice instead of novice, yeah. precipice instead of precipice. So what we should know is, you know, there, is, there are those aspects of, you know, irregular sounding in terms of the letter sequences in English language. Okay, well, it's interesting. Such a humbling moment for me yes. there. <laughs> I'm just here saying precipice yes. with so much confidence. <laughs> but it's okay, yes. precipice is the word. Take it easy, my dear sister. Okay, I will. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. Well, it's uh, this word. Let me try it. Jaga Jagannaut. Uh, is that the correct pronunciation of this word? Oh, J U W G E R N A U T. Yeah. Juggernaut. Mm. Juggernaut. Okay, Juggernaut. A Juggernaut. Uh -huh. Yes. Interesting. Got it, Willis. Uh, moving on to another word. Here we have uh, grammarian. Is that the correct pronunciation of this word, Willis? Gram grammarian or grammarian? Somebody who's an, who has an interest in grammar. But we have the word grammar. Mm hmm. But sometimes I talk about, you know, what we call inflection, changing the form of a word for grammatical function, mm -hmm. which you may find, you know, a slight change in the pronunciation of the word, especially the original one. Mm -hmm. So we have grammar, mm -hmm. but we don't say grammarian. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. say grammarian, grammarian. Wow. Okay. You grammarian. don't say grammarian, yes. Grammarian. Today I'm just... That is it, Betty. Today is not my day, evidently losing out on all these words, but it's fine. So grammarian is the word. All right, Willis, moving on swiftly. Yes. So we have another word. Do we say worldwide, worldwide? Uh, how do we pronounce that one correctly? Well... Uh, what is important to understand in that, you know, in such words, mm -hmm. that part wide has the stress. That is the primary stress. Mm -hmm. You say worldwide, wide, worldwide, countrywide, not countrywide. You get the difference? Mm. Countrywide, worldwide, nationwide, not nationwide you rise and you have that stress, the uh -huh. primary one. Uh -huh. So worldwide, countrywide, uh -huh. nationwide, countywide, not countywide. All right. What if you're not, uh, if, yes. if, what if it's just the word wide? Is it still wide or is it just wide? Wide is just wide. Okay. You say wide. Okay. It has the stress, you know, at the onset, uh -huh. at the beginning. Just okay. wide. Interesting. So worldwide got it willis moving on to this other word yes from, worldwide yeah let's go to our feedback question and it's coming from sabina makamba in arusha tanzania interesting so she's asking about this word vehemently is that the correct pronunciation of this word or is it vehemently willis you know you you, you surprise us very many times what is what betty to be surprised many times, I've always explained that it's because of that problem that we have locally and yeah. even beyond, uh -huh. in Africa and beyond. Uh -huh. Sometimes, you know, education systems do not lay enough emphasis on pronunciation compared to grammar and vocabulary when we are learning English uh -huh. or any other foreign language. But, you know, the problem here is when we see a word, uh -huh. we find ourselves sometimes pronouncing it, thinking that it is having what we call a phonetic spelling. That mm -hmm. is the spelling corresponding with the pronunciation. What we see in this word is yes. that vehemently. vehemently. But when you pronounce this word accurately or correctly, you say vehemently. You don't pronounce that H. The breath path her is not there. You say vehemently. Just like <laughs> rehabilitate, not rehabilitate rehabilitation, not rehabilitation. That breath path, her, huh, is not there in vehemently. Okay. Rehabilitate, rehabilitation, and all that. Tricky for us as non-native speakers of English, Betty. 
<laughs> interesting, Willis, rehabilitate, not rehabilitate or rehabilitate. Yes, Rehab rehabilitate, rehabilitate and rehabilitation. All right, Willis. Then straight to Zachary Ocheng, uh -huh. you say kuchua or kutiwa. Kuchua or kutiwa. And then you say resplendent, uh -huh. resplendent. Then Lydia Namusima from Kampala, Uganda, you say mall, a mall, but you can also say mal. Mal is also acceptable, uh, our dear sister Lydia of Kampala, Uganda. And Betty, mm. I think this is encouraging because we are having across the borders, yeah. you know, Friday briefing, wedding through That's even great. the borders without a passport. But <laughs> anyway, great. that is just in jest or in, yeah. as a joke. Yeah. Now we have Duncan Kipto, you say cash not cache. Mm. Our cash. weapons cash, All not right. weapons cache. Cache is the one which ends in a T. Shadrach Kikoma, you say solemn. Kliliad Msafiri, Baba Boksa Ocheng, what a name, and coming from the lakeside. <laughs> Yeah. Baba Boxa Ocheng. Okay. Betty, you hear that name? <laughs> Complicated. Baba Boxa Ocheng that. and Jojo Pio Fundi, we say thank you for loving our segment. You see, we have to get it right. The sounds in English words. Mm. Then, Josh Mochogi of uh, today, it's like <laughs> we're having it from far and wide. Yeah. <laughs> we have Josh Mochogi of New York, America. You say hierarchy. Hierarchy, hierarchy, not hierarchy. Uh -huh. hierarchy. Hierarchy. What is also common locally is hierarchy, but you say hierarchy. 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 Nick Wamalo Mondi, you say data or data. Data or data. Mm. Rosalind Nahuanga, you say an apple, not an apple. An apple. Mm. Joroge Kibai, John Gidanga, I don't know whether it's John Gidongo, mm -hmm. but I think it's John Gidanga, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Njoroge Kibai. Then Patricia Kilonzo, Chris Akwenda, and Josiah Makoha, we don't say Josiah. All you right. You say Josiah. You oh, say Desire. gubernatorial. Okay. And then second lastly, yeah, Josiah, not Josiah. George Morara Akuma, you say seriatim, seriatim, not seriatim. That is a language, uh, that is a word that is used in law, the, you know, legal language, mm -hmm. or what if you like, legalese. You say seriatim, not seriatim. <laughs> so I think this is that lawyer who also sent a word last week. Okay. George Morara Kuma, seriatim. Okay. Jeffrey Nzia, circumlocution, mm. circumlocution. And mm -hmm. finally, Joshua Chwea, you say decelerate. Joshua Chwea, decelerate. you say decelerate. And Okemwa also, that is decelerate. All right. Now, the surprise word yes. tonight. As we wind up, yes. We when must. we talk about copying somebody's ideas mm -hmm. or work or even words and pretending that they are your own, what happens? We have a problem in pronouncing the verb. Mm -hmm. Many people find themselves saying plagiarize. Some say plagiarize. The correct or acceptable pronunciation is plagia, plagiarize. Plagiarize. To plagiarize. That is to copy somebody's ideas, yes, plagiarize. Okay. To copy somebody's ideas, work or words, and then you pretend that they are, you know, you are on. All right. So plagiarize, not plagiarize, mm. not plagiarize. Okay. And we have princes, the mm. plural of prince, that is mm -hmm. the upper word. You say princes or princes. Oh, princes, princes or princes, that is the upper word. Okay. Yes, princes or princes. But when we talk about the lower word, you say princess, princess. And I think, Betty, if I may just give somebody a thumbs up, that is Chantel. That is the way to be or to go when it comes to being on Katian home or KTN News. All right, Phyllis, thank you. be told, you get the whole story or welcome home. <laughs> Betty, back to you. All right, Phyllis, at this point, I think you should come and we co anchor together. <laughs> thank you very much, Phyllis Ocheng, there joining us live, yeah, live from Kisumu. Uh, remember, if you have any more questions, you can reach him on his Twitter handle at Phyllis Ocheng1. All right, so that has been Mind Your Language here on Friday Briefing. All right.